What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network for the best decks in the Pokemon trading card game in standard format for November 2022. Now, do note that we will be profiling the top 10 decks in the current standard format, Lost Origin. This will be played at Warsaw Regionals. It was recently played at Leo Regionals, SLC, Peoria Regionals. But Silver Tempest comes out on November 11th, and it will be legal for the Latin America International Championships. So as a bonus, even though those the Silver Tempest cards will not be legal until late November, and most people won't be playing in Silver Tempest tournaments until December, I will give a bonus top three decks to look out for from Silver Tempest at the end of this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel for daily Pokemon TCG content. Check out the links down below, my Twitter, my Twitch, TikTok, Discord, all of my sponsors, everything like that. I greatly appreciate all of the support you guys give me with the likes, comments, subs, everything like that helps a ton. Without further ado, let's look at the 10 best decks in the Pokemon trading card game right now. Number 10 is going to be Arceus V Star Gear, Tina V Star, and we're looking at a list that placed 13th at the Peoria Regionals, piloted by Craig Eoff. This deck is going to use Arceus V Star because it's a super efficient attacker, and the Star Birth ability allows you to reliably set up on turn two, getting the cards you need, whether it's a supporter to draw cards or you need to find your gear, Tina, you need to find an energy. Star Birth can fetch any two cards out of the deck for you and get the game going. We are going to be using Giratina V-Star because it's lost impact attack does 280 damage, which is going to knock out other Giratinas, Arceus, Palkia, and even in the next set, it'll knock out Lugia V-Star and Retidrago V-Star. Lost Impact does make you send two energy attached to your Pokemon to the Lost Zone, but you can send those energies to the Lost Zone from your bench Pokemon if you want, or split it up between Tina and a bench Pokemon. You can also just send double turbo energy to the Lost Zone, and that will count as two. So this is a pretty simple deck. Uh, you just use Arceus V-Star to get set up, you know, attack, get some damage in, accelerate energy to your Giratina V-Star, and then you run through a couple Pokemon with Lost Impact, and if you're playing against a multi prize deck, like another Arceus deck or a Palkia deck, then you should be pretty good to go because you're going to be trading at least evenly, but sometimes favorably, with the opponent. Number 9 is Blissey V Mill Tank, and this is also a budget deck, and it got second place at Leal Regionals piloted by Jamie Franklin, so what's there not to love about Blissey Mill Tank? Blissey has 250 HP, but once we slap a Cape of Toughness onto this, it has 300 HP, and it is a basic Pokemon. Blissful Blast does 10 damage plus 30 more for each energy attached to this Pokemon, and then you can get up to 3 energy from your discard and attach them to Bliss EV as long as you did damage with that attack. So you just rack up a whole bunch of energy on Bliss EV, and then next turn you use it to either heal your Pokemon with Hyper Potion, or you just use it to do a lot more damage and start taking knockouts. Mill Tank has the Miracle Body ability, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V, so there are some decks that you'll just beat because you play mill tank and they can't knock it out and you'll just chip away at their hp with route number eight is hasuian zorark v star and we're looking at a list that placed first this won the malaysia regional league piloted by adavan akalin and hasuian zorark v star is a colorless v star pokemon with 270 hp and it's ticking curse attack does 50 damage for each of your pokemon that has any damage counters on it luckily it's very easy to put damage counters on the board in this deck we play four gape jaw bog whenever somebody benches a basic pokemon put two damage counters on it we play gengar that can go from discard to the bench and then you put three damage counters on itself and we also play damage pump that moves damage counters around our board from pokemon to other pokemon to set up our board in a way that ticking curse is doing the maximum amount of damage hasuian zoric v star also has a pretty good v star ability it essentially does the same thing as professor's research during your turn you may discard your hand and draw seven cards the radiant pokemon of choice in this deck is going to be radiant halucha because of the ability big match it lets you do 30 more damage to your opponent's pokemon v max so this is going to help a lot versus mu v max and curum v max 
Number seven is Arceus Gudra and my boy Hale won Salt Lake City Regionals with this list. Again, we're using Arceus just like the Tina deck uses it. It's great to set up the game, you know, use Starburst to get whatever cards you need on turn two, use Trinity Nova to get some damage in and set up your other attacker. And then we're going to be trying to make this Hasui and Gudra V star just last forever, never get knocked out. We have healing like Hyper Potion and Crystal Cave in the deck. We also have the moisture star v star power ability if we didn't need star birth to set up for the game we can use moisture star to completely heal gudra v star and the rolling iron attack is one of the best attacks at mitigating damage that i've seen in such a long time for water metal colorless it does 200 damage which is a huge chunk of damage and this pokemon takes 80 less damage from attacks next turn Radiant Gardevoir can turn that 80 less damage into 100 less damage because its loving veil ability says all of your Pokemon take 20 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V. Next up, we've got Regigigas. This deck is only 40 bucks to build from scratch in real life, and it got 4th, 5th, and 6th place at Salt Lake City, piloted by some of the best players in the modern era of the trading card game. We got Azul GG, Grant Manley, and Caleb Gedimer all piloting this 60 card list to 4th, 5th, and 6th place at Salt Lake City. Absolutely unbelievable performance by that group of players and by this deck. The Regigigas deck is going to focus on using Regigigas' Ancient Wisdom ability to power up any of your other Regis, as long as you have a board full of all the Regis. You get to attack up to three energy cards from your discard pile to one of your pokemon and we're going to be using all special energies to take advantage of the fact that this says energy cards and not basic energy cards you have regilecki to hit lightning type weakness reggie rock to hit fighting type weakness reggie steel to hit metal type weakness reggie drago for its ability that draws cards and reggie ice has to kind of be there because we need all the reggies in play but also the blizzard bind attack to do a hundred and then say that the defending Pokemon V can attack next turn can sometimes trip up the opponents and you might just get a win because of it. Number five is Mew V Max Genesect V, and there's actually a Mew V Max League battle deck, a pre constructed deck for this coming out on November 11th, and it includes so many of the cards that you'll need to play this deck. Mew V Max is very powerful. It can use the cross fusion strike attack for just attaching a single double turbo energy, and then it copies Technoblast from your Genesect to do 190 damage after the double turbo's damage reduction. But we have choice belts, and we have power tablets, and we have Silene to get those damage modifications back. This is a very aggressive, consistent, straightforward deck that tries to beat down the opponent as fast as possible and get prize cards and just end the game very quickly. Next at number four, we have Curum V Max Palkia V Star. And this is a very in the middle deck. It doesn't have bad matchups and it doesn't have great matchups, but it can find a way to win a game in most matchups as long as the circumstances fall into favor for you. Curum V Max is a huge Pokemon, 330 HP. Its max frost attack has an unlimited damage cap, and the ability Glaciated World allows you to accelerate energy to itself. And if that's not enough, we have Palkia V Star with the Star Porter ability that allows you to attach up to three water energies from discard to your water pokemon in any way that you like this deck has so much support going for it between radiant greninja with concealed cards that both gets energy into the discard for melanie and palkia v star and it draws you cards Aranguru with Primate Wisdom to set the top card of your deck to work with Glaciated World. We have Irida and Melanie and Capacious Bucket. Water decks just have so much support in this current standard format, and this deck is a very fun, very powerful deck to play. Next, we've got Lost Zone Box, focusing on Sableye of Radiant Charizard, and this is toward Rekolev's first place regionals list from Peoria. We've got Cramorant that can attack for free as long as we have four or more cards in the Lost Zone. Sableye that can use Lost Mine as long as we have 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone to put 12 damage counters on the opponent's Pokemon any way we like. And also Radiant Charizard, which gets better the further the game goes on because its attacks cost one colorless energy less for each prize card your opponent has taken. And then Combustion Blast can potentially do 250 for just one fire energy. Now, I did mention that Cramorant and Sableye need cards in the lost zone and comfy is going to help us make that happen with flower selecting look at the top two 
two cards of the deck and put one of them into your hand. And then Colorus's Experiment, which looks at the top five cards of the deck, and you put two into the Lost Zone and three into your hand. You also have three Lost Vacuums, which can potentially put up to two cards into the Lost Zone for you. This deck is super strong because it has a lot of single prize Pokemon that can do big things. Cramorant attacks for free, Sableye spreads damage however you like, and Radiant Charizard does 250 damage. Number two, we've got Palky of V-Star with the Inteleon engine. This deck is so versatile and so adaptive and can figure out a way to win in most situations and most meta games. I always say that the Pokemon lineup of this deck becomes pretty simple once you get the hang of it. You've got Palkia V-Star to attack, you've got the Inteleon Drizzile line to search out cards, and you got Radiant Greninja to draw some cards and sometimes use Moonlight Shuriken. The real versatility for me comes in the form of the trainer cards. We have four Irida and then a bunch of one-off supporters. We have Cross Switcher, which means we can use a gusting effect even if we're using a supporter that's not boss's orders for turn. Capacious Bucket to get water energy into our hands, scoop up net to reuse abilities, we have Echoing Horn to put basic Pokemon from our opponent's discard pile onto their bench. Two choices of tools with Choice Belt and Big Charm, and then two choices of stadiums with Training Court and Path to the Peak. This is a very methodical deck to play, and the better you are and the more experienced you are with this deck, the better your results will probably be. And finally, the deck that I am claiming is the best deck in format of the Lost Origin standard format is Giratina Lost Zone Box. This is going to look a little similar. Similar to the Lost Zone box we saw earlier, except it's going to be using Radiant Greninja instead of the Charizard, and it's going to be using a 3-3 line of Giratina V-Star, and we will get to use Star Requiem in this deck. That's the only V-Star power we have to choose from. This deck uses a combination of Giratina V-Star, Cramorant, Sableye, Radiant Greninja, Drapion V against the Mew decks, and even sometimes Luminion V as an attacker to create checkmate board positions where you have a good attacker to put yourself into a winning position no matter what your opponent does. And we're going to be accelerating energy to all of these Pokemon with the Mirage Gate item card. You can only use this if you have seven or more cards in the Lost Zone and you search your deck for up to two basic energy cards of different types and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Those are the top 10 decks, in my opinion, for the Lost Origin Standard format but I did tell you that we'd be looking ahead at some bonus content for Silver Tempest. Lugia V-Star is definitely the deck you want to look out for in Silver Tempest. Lugia V-Star has the ability that allows you to pop two Archeops right onto the bench from the discard, and then Archeops starts attaching energy from your deck to your Pokemon. Special energies you can accelerate for a turn if you have two Archeops in play. You can set up a Lugia out of nowhere. You can set up an Amazing Rare Evil Tall out of nowhere. And there's plenty of other attackers that people are going to end up trying out in decks like this this deck is so aggressive and consistent and powerful i would imagine it's going to perform very well and there's going to be people out there trying to specifically beat this deck Number two for the Silver Tempest decks is going to be Regidrago V-Star. I don't think it's as good as Lugia, but I do think it'll see some play, maybe some small success. I think it'll be more of a deck that people want to be good because it's fun and cool, less than a deck that actually is good inherently. But Regidrago V-Star can copy any Dragon-type attack from your discard pile for Grass, Grass, Fire. So there's going to be a couple ways to build this deck. This list is choosing to use Leafeon V as your energy accelerant on turn one. One. So if you attach an energy and Leafy on turn one and then attach an energy next turn, you've got your three energy on Regidrago V-Star and then you can start copying your dragon Pokemon attacks. Uh, Duraludon, Gudra V-Star, the new Dragonite, and Giratina V-Star are all options in this deck. And lastly, for the Silver Tempest bonus content, we've got Regilecki V-Max with Vikavolt V, also using this annoying Morpeko and Raikou V as other attackers because Regilecki V-Max says all of your basic lightning Pokemon do 30 more damage, and that's going to be a huge buff to this Vikavolt V, which is a very strong card that stops your opponents from using items, and its only problem so far has been its low damage output, which Regilecki V Max is coming in to fix. So those are the best decks for Lost Origin and a few decks to look out for for Silver Tempest later this month. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon TCG content, and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.